Uh, okay, so Arch, tell me, is it this? Is it is it legit this match? Okay. Oh man. So what do you want to know? Like, I'll, okay, so I just go through it and like see what I see. You know. I guess we're gonna do it like that. Oh, I actually played Chummy a few times. Uh, great Norwegian, re re what I'm talking about, real player. <laughs> One bit pork, exactly. Okay. So, you took a matchup that is like pretty new, but I have some stuff for it. And we might be able to see some other. I lose this really bad. Okay, it's fine. So we're going to go through it a few times. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to see it first try. I'm going to, and if I see something really specific, I'm going to go back to it. But uh, let's see what we get. And of course, chat will also be nice. Let's just... Is that the Tekken theme you have in the background? Okay. Uh, that sucks that you get this one. Mm -hmm. Good punish. Yeah. Like, there's nothing bad right now, like, you're getting hit by the Viscus and that's annoying. Okay, you're in the corner, are you gonna panic or are you gonna calm down? Tell me it's really good when you're in the corner. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a tough set up, uh, cross up. Nice block. Oh, sh oh, oh. <laughs> I would maybe have waited with the meter, he doesn't really have any way to, like, Oh, that jab. Dangerous. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah. Okay. Like. Let's go back to here. You you have like now you have a really good win condition right here. Like if you notice, like you get the cross counter, you get into the corner really early. You have a good life lead. And then he starts doing that. And that's just something you have to be mindful of. Remember, it's minus two on block and minus six if it's a, if it's a normal, if it's non-charged. And you can easily whiff punish it. And also, um, lows. You know, if you didn't know, you can actually do, like, lows to it. And it will counter hit no matter what. But you still have him in the corner. And here's where it kind of starts going wrong. He jumped out of the corner. And you want to go out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Nice patience. That's a tough. That's I would have gotten hit by that cross up. That's a tough one. That's a good block, but in uh, most situations you you could ex hit, but but that's a really good block. And it's like I think it's oh, that is like minus six. That is I think that's minus six if I don't if I'm not wrong. So you could actually have gotten a pretty meaty punish on it. And then, yeah, you kind of put just your Aegis, but it's fine. It's fine. You... Uh, right up until this. Right here. Right here. I would say you still have the... You have the advantage, even though you're down on life. In my opinion, he doesn't have any bar at all. Like, if you notice this, he doesn't have any bar. You almost have three bars. You have one mirror left. So, in my opinion, you are winning this match at the moment. You have the high, you have the high ground, so to say. But then you, but then you go do that. And that's just like, uh, I think that's a complete waste. I get you want to get the armor up, but yeah, you're kind of you're kind of safe to get armor up against Kaki. The only thing he can do is the red fireball, and it's match low. He can't do it on reaction. So what he needs to do is like dash and sweep or something like that. So you don't really need to do the mirror to get armor up in this matchup from full screen. But in, in my opinion, you still like, you still had the advantage here, even though you just wasted your mirror. You have the corner position. Yeah, like you could have crossed half on that, but it like it's it's small details, you know. Like you still get the end here. You keep the pressure up, good pressure. Yeah, and then you wanted to kill bad. It happens. It happens. Um. No, it's minus six. It's really minus that uh, that ex one. Yeah, you're playing that. You're playing that pretty well, in my opinion. Uh. Kage fireball. Okay, try try going into training mode, uh, Lucas, and set Kage to doing a uh, fireball. 
and then try jumping. Like, just try having Kage do red fireball and then jump. You have uh, so much recovery frames on it. It's insane. Okay, next round. Let's see. Yeah. That just sucks. Some good pressure. You're finding your way off the corner in a nice way, in my opinion. This just move. Good, good shit. That's good. You're not losing this bad. Ah, uh, we we'll punish that. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh... Yeah, now you're getting impatient. You're getting impatient. You want the V trigger now. You can V every single one of those on block. You can V trigger. Can't. Yeah, like you can block that V versus V trigger and you'll punish him. And that, yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see it. The comeback. Ish. Let's get it, boy. Oh, oh. You guessed wrong. You wanted the cross up, but you didn't get it. If you threw him there, you could have won. Okay, let's take that round again. But that's not much to that round, in my opinion. Uh, sorry if it's stuttering a bit. Yeah, you're just... You're just a bit too... My advice is coming down neutral. Like you're, you're getting hit by a straight button, so that sucks. And now you're in the corner. But you, the way you're fighting out of the corner right now, I really like. That's good. Mm -hmm. One forward. Good stuff. And then you try to dash. And you get, you get punished for it. You know, you're doing fine until you dashed. And now you're back to this, and you're getting a bit antsy. Yeah, that's not, like like you're not losing it bad. You're just, you know, not calming down. And now you just really want to win the round with your like V trigger. Yeah, and then. Just a wrong guess, and you die for it. I don't know, like that round, like you didn't lose it bad, you just like, you just kind of lost your cool, you know, you, that happened a bad, you, there was a bad situation in the start of the round that led to you having a disadvantage. You fight, in my opinion, you fought out of that disadvantage really nicely, and then you just kind of like lost your cool and went back to like, like losing. That's what I saw that round. Okay. Yeah, like, a bit ballsy, but I like it. Better than nothing. You also get some V, good V meter for it. Ooh. Ew. I guess maybe it was on purpose. Hard read. If it was. Yeah, you don't really know how to deal with the V skill, it looks like. You're also fighting at a range. Like, yeah, there we go. I hope you picked up on that. That uh, cross medium kick is really good against it. And then you jump. You can't jump on Chomi. Chomi. He has, he has, his fundamentals are really good. Yeah, he, he's he's a real player by heart. He has really good fundamentals in that. Good blocking. Ah, uh, you could have crouch hard punch that, but it's cool. We could have whip punish that, but it's cool. It's online. And you got hit by a cross up. Now it's getting dangerous. He didn't interrupt the dash. It's tough. See here, when 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 a can't, when a player plays like this, like he wants to poke you out with like that kind of like that mad slow button. I'll just eat shoulder his ass. Get the V-Trigger out. Get in greater situation. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. That looked like that. It looked like an accident. The uh, tackle. You're not out of this. You still... You're all... Oof. You're still in it. You're still in it. V-Trigger. You can... A Urian can always win if he has V-Trigger. Yeah, exactly. You're picking up on... Him. Ooh. <laughs> like 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 you're doing good stuff i would maybe have gone for like you know when he does the neutral jump go for the v trigger on the neutral jump and then uh, you i think you actually would have killed like how much life that would have been close to death you would have probably been a down on here if you had done especially because you have full bar so it would have been it would have been 450 damage so like just V trigger, the neutral jump, crouch hard punch, normal fireball, EX fireball, EX fireball, EX fireball, light kick tackle. 
Yeah. But you're not like like He's playing passive. Like that's that's good. You just yeah. Uh you hate to see that drop and then it just But let's let's start off the round start again. I just want to see the round start again. Where where did it start going wrong in neutral? Like cuz you you're having the advantage. You have the advantage right now. And that that happened. And that's of course bad. But you you cool. You're equal. And then you get hit by that. But then you start fighting back. You start fighting back in a good way. Yeah, look. Now you're equal again. And then he starts jumping at you and you aren't ready. Okay, you actually jumped on him. Kage players hate when you're playing neutral against them. Like, they look for the jump. If you just kept walking forward and, like, um, doing buttons like this, they, can't, they don't really know what to do against that. Like, he doesn't really have any good far-reaching buttons to, to punish that button with. So he has to go for hard commit with punishes. He can't even go for B-skill. Yeah, and then, like, we see the situation again. Uh, Chummy, Chummy is solid as hell, man. <laughs> Chummy, Chummy is mad solid, Lucas. He's a really good player, in my opinion. Yeah, and then drop it. He just like, I don't care. Screw your stand hard kick. Okay. That fake out doesn't work on Urian. He doesn't have any like real stand hard kick is uh, stand hard punch is dangerous in this matchup because a good Kage will whiff punish it. And he's a good Kage, but he's still learning the character. So. Like you see how you see how he's doing that forward hard punch. That's because he's annoyed. He's annoyed by the neutral. He can't. He he has a hard time dealing with it. So when you do that, you force him to either jump or commit to dashes. When you do that, oh, he's gonna ju jump backwards and he start gonna try to do a fireball game, which Urian wins hard because he exne. Don't play the fireball game. You 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 you. You can win the zoning game in this matchup. There's no need for this. Yeah. Calm down. Get some charge down. Get your charge down on you. Yeah. That fireball is mad slow. Like, he has so many recovery frames on it. I promise you. Try go, Just try going into training mode. Do a red fireball, the light one, and try jumping. You can see how many recovery frames there's on it. It's insane. Cool. But yes, as I predicted, he gave up on trying to play with the buttons and he went back to a fireball game. And you, nice. And then he goes for jumps because he doesn't feel the fireball game. A bit unfortunate situations in close range. And then he gets a good jump on you. Now he's gonna play cool because he has the life lead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. You had him. I actually like that. I like that really a lot. Uh, you might not have thought about it at the moment, Lucas. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really like that in the moment. Like, here's why I like it. Notice his V trigger. He's just about to get V trigger, and you don't give him a fireball. You don't give him V trigger. You have V trigger. And you get V trigger first. This could have won you the game. If you had, if you, that, if that throw had hit, you could have won the game. You could have won the round at least. Like, and that just sucks. Like, that's just unfortunate. But you, you, you insist so hard on like being very aggressive to him. Oh, you could cross hard punch that. Oh, you could have won right there. He's gonna, yeah. Like, mm. I'll just say you need some more matchup experience. Like, let's just give it. Like, yeah, there's just some small uh, situations. Actually, let me go back to it. <laughs> there's just a small, like, like, like right here, you actually have advantage because you have V-Trigger before he has V-Trigger and both your bar. Then you get V-Trigger off, you miss the throw, that's unfortunate. You could have won if you got the throw, you could have done throw into super. 
that I think that would have killed than this situation right here. Like you're very insistent on like very going forward and being like forward. I get why. I'll probably do the same in this situation. Um, I'd say like you just have to believe a bit more in like uh, your your fireball game, ex uh, knee game. Uh, not from that range. The range you had, that's very hard to do. But if you move a bit, ba a bit backwards, it would be easier. But also here, like, like this right here. You got a cross hard punch there. You got a super. You got a cross hard punch. You could have done a lot of stuff, and never one yard around. Yeah. That's tough. But yeah, you, you, you just seemed uncomfortable in neutral. You, you seemed uncomfortable in neutral. Even though you did some nice stuff in my opinion. Like you move forward to cross medium kick. You know how I like to do it. Like you're pressuring him. You're forcing him to go back out of like playing a footsie game into a fireball game. And Kage doesn't have a really good fireball game. So like you don't really use your meter either to create pressure in my opinion. You, you, you didn't even need it that game. But if you actually used it, it might have been better. But yeah, Chummy is solid, and he's a good player. Um, I wouldn't say you played that bad. I just uh, it just looked like you were inexperienced, uncomfortable, which is given since he's the newest character in the game. Like this round is just like just Chummy, like, just annoying, whittling you down with the red fireball like that, and you're like you lose. I don't know if you lose your cool, but it's just like you let. It looks like uh, I don't really. What should I do? Like, okay, that didn't work. Okay, knee over it. Calm down. Move forward. I don't want to play this year like red fireball game. Like that range. That this range right here. This range right here. If I if I got if I blocked a red fireball in that range, I would just keep charge, and I would do and I would ex knee this red, red fireball oh you shouldn't jump like like normal jump is hard on Kage but you could ease like you like EX knee is Yurian's easiest way to get away from neutral and create a plus situation it's foolish not to use it especially when you start using so many red fireballs the direct counter to red fireballs is doing the EX knee in my opinion it's the best way for Yurian to get about get around it yeah yeah, but that's the thing, like, the game also changed. The game changed. You you changed. Notice how you, are, like, you might not have thought about it, but you started out with jumping, and he was winning because of that, right? Uh, like, he started anti-airing you, and uh, he was winning because he got pressure off the anti-air, and, like, he can rush you down that way. That's how he started winning. Then you stopped jumping, and you started using cross-medium kick. And that, that, that is a really good adaptation because you're starting to just move forward, crouch medium kick instead of jumping, which forces him to use red fireballs. And then he, you forcing him to use red fireballs gives you access to using EX knee and jumps. You know, it's just... Like, you can... You can I can't get red fireball I react to. I don't anticipate. I react to it. It's so slow. It's that slow. When you see the animation start, if you jump as you see the animation start, you can jump in on it. No problem. I think, I think like, like, there's not really any, like, you're not doing anything really wrong. There's just a few unfortunate situations, well, as I hit the microphone, a few unfortunate situations that could have gone different. Like, like, you could easily have stolen a lot of these rounds and you play it well moving forward and pressuring him. I'll, do, like, I'll maybe even be a bit more laid back and let him come to you. But the way you're playing is, like, you can use that. Like, your play style is just fine against him. You just need to be better at, like, like you didn't know the next adaptation to when he started using red fireballs. I don't think he caught on to it. Um, like, just look at how close these rounds are in the start because they're a bit scrambly. Like, you even, like, you win a lot of the first situations. Just think about that, like, like you mess that up but you get the first like you get the first big combo you get the first big combo of the first round you have the advantage now and you have the corner now it's just about bringing it home mm -hmm. 
and then that happens. And then it just goes downhill from here. Charge Hard Punch isn't very good in this matchup. It's not because of the Visco. The only reason you would use uh, Charged Hard Punch in this matchup is for him to start using Visco so you can get more cross medium kicks. <laughs> That's the only reason. But yeah, like then it starts going downhill from here. No notice, like you had the you had the advantage, and then it starts going downhill here, downhill. And then it's like it's a close round because it went downhill for you, but you actually like could have won on. Then let's look at the next round. Look at this round. Like this round, like he gets the advantage. Not notice this. He gets the advantage. He gets the first hit, he gets the corner, and he doesn't let go of it. That's the difference right here, right? He wins the first uh, real neutral uh, neutral situation and gets the first combo. And he takes it and he runs with it. And you even fight really well out of it, but you can't really get anything big on him. That's the difference right here in like how you play the game. You get an advantage, you kind of let go of it. He got an advantage. He he. It was really hard for him. Like it was really hard for you to like let him let go of it. And yeah, just like then uh, there's a bit of like you're not knowing how to actually like some things you could do with V trigger. And you even closer get the comeback. And this round, let's see. Like who gets the first engagement here? You get the first thing again. And then like execution error sadly. Okay, but now you're equal. Who gets the next one? He does. He gotta get a bit of damage. But you're back to equal now. A lot more back and forth this round. And it goes wrong by him starting to jump right. No, you jumped. That's right, you jumped. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit more back and forth. It's not really like one guy gets the combo and he just runs with it. Until now. <laughs> but that last round. Uh, come on. Last round, let's see. Like, look, like, slowly you're getting a good advantage here. Look at it. Look at your health bar compared to his. You have a good advantage right now. You have bull bar. If you EX knee right now, like, look at him. He, he knows you're not going to jump. He knows you're not going to jump. And he knows you're not going to EX knee. So he just keeps bullying you. You're bullying you with the fireball. He's giving you a lot of respect now. Compared to the first game. But that's also I think because he knows you're not gonna deal with the red fireball. And the reason he can do that is because he's such he's he's a he's really good at the fireball game, some chummy. But even though, oh my god, sorry. But even though he's actually like winning neutral, you see, like even though he's actually winning neutral, he's controlling neutral, you actually still have the advantage. Like in my opinion, like he's winning neutral right now. He's like, he's controlling the neutral. But he's, you still have like the advantage in life. And you actually force him to do something like, like if you really overanalyze this, you force him to jump right here, right? Yeah. yeah. And you even get the, yeah. You have such a huge adva huge advantage now. You could like you could easily run with this round. But he just fights his way out the corner with some good hits. A bit like a bit unfortunate hits, in my opinion. Like it's the worst when you get counter hit in those situations. And now you 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 get panicky. Actually you didn't really. Like you actually handled that really cool compared to the first time. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't take. He didn't he Yeah. That he had no, like, look, as you have to think of this, uh, Jones actually told me about this. Um, he had no reason to take. You never threw him. Like, you never really established a throw game, you know? Like, 
And Chummy is such a good player that he knows he should take the throw. He's confident that even though he lost that engagement with the throw, he can win the next one. As you should be. You should be conf confident like that. Like, you, you try to establish a shimmy game without ever having established a throw game. But even, like, yeah, like, see, that's the first time you're really, like, establishing a throw game. <laughs> and you make him throw and you get thrown for it. <laughs> exactly, everyone takes, everybody takes right away until you meet good players that don't take right away. Have you ever tried playing Phenom? Like, just look at Vadoyans right now. How many times did I throw him? He just didn't take. He didn't take. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's a really good player. Anyway, I think I think I've analyzed this enough. If you, if I cool this Lucas. I think I went through like, and you you've seen, like a bit of more of like I wanted to both give you like a thought process of how you can get better and also like you know the small stuff. It's more like like, yeah, I don't think you did that much wrong. You just think, like, you just needed that last thing, you know. But you played it well, in my opinion.